not to speak Pretend that I'm dreaming I smell your breath Not listening But I still hear you screaming Going under One step away Till you hear what I'm saying Sounds like thunder And the clouds are closing in You see I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed Losing focus Breaking up from our life as we know it If someone had told me That I will take off And find something greener Greener than gold If someone had told me That I will be strong I'm gonna rise, gonna rise and fly And leave the gold between the lines I turn my head He's not like you don't want him to Hey y'all welcome back to my channel today's video is an entire house messy clean with me I tackled every single room in our house in this video and I don't think I've ever done that on my channel before in this house But for the past six weeks we've been working on a deep cleaning series and lots of you already know that but while I was working on one project, the basic housework would get behind. So today is the day that we get completely caught up. We undecorate from summer and kind of just reset our home for fall, light some candles. And if you missed the big deep cleaning series, it was packed with insane cleaning and organizing motivation. So I will go ahead and link those videos below. But thank y'all so much for stopping by today's video. If you enjoy it and get lots of cleaning motivation, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. But Let's get started. So here in the living room, I'm just going around and picking up toys and we actually had a huge load of clean laundry on the couch at the beginning of the video. So I went ahead and put all of that in a hamper to fold at the end of this day. I had several other loads going in the washer and dryer and so I sat down to watch Virgin River at the end of the night and folded all of those. And if you are watching Virgin River too, let me know down in the comments. I am not very far in and I already love it. And I'm usually really bad at sticking with a TV show, so I'm trying really hard to stay with this one. But let me know down in the comments below if you have any other good Netflix or Hulu recommendations because we finally have Oliver in a really good routine of going to bed around 7.30 every night. So it gives us a little time to watch a show or do what we need to do, and that's been such a game changer. Our new rug finally came in and it looks so much better in here now. And also, who else loves listening to Michael Buble when Fall and Christmas roll around? He is on pretty much non-stop over here. I even have my husband loving his music. Just like the perfect vibe for cozy fall weather and also just in general when cleaning the house. Um, but I'm going to be do lo doing lots of tidying up today as I go. Um, if I notice something needs dusted or vacuumed or wiped down, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. 
I wanted everything completely reset and I can honestly say that at the end of this day our house was the most clean and organized it's ever been and I have been waiting for this day when we finally have our office and the garage and the whole house clean all at once and it finally happened for us and it was such a good feeling. Y'all will have to let me know what y'all are up to today. If you're tackling something around your house while you watch, what are you working on? I always love to know what projects y'all are working on too. And by the way, thank you so much for 40,000 subscribers. That is insane to me and I'm so thankful for y'all. I could not ask for a better community here on YouTube. Y'all are all so nice. Seriously, it is really such a blessing. And um, I also wanted to say real quick, I moved that mirror on top of the piano because <laughs> I actually brought that in from the office to see if it would look good there. And I wasn't completely sold, but I'm gonna try it again this week because I think I have a plan. Come back next week to see if I change that. But also my first fall decorating video goes live on Sunday, August 7th. So mark your calendars. It's going to be the first of many, but it is packed with cozy decor and all things fall and I cannot wait. As I was cleaning up, I went ahead and gathered all of my returns and I went and stuck those in my trunk. And I did go ahead and stick Oliver's little toy that I mentioned in my last day in the life um, in there too because he hates it and it didn't come with balls and so it was just kind of a big disappointment. <laughs> we'll try again later with the ball pit, but I'm going to go ahead and return it for now. And now I'm just going to shake this rug and get everything vacuumed up. Sometimes I'm like a whisper in a riot, but I grow strong and keep believing in me. Say you're believing, you're believing in me. You're believing, you're believing in me. Say you're believing, you're believing in me. You're believing, you're believing in me. Opie's dog cage gets so disgusting and I clean it out like every other day but it is full of dirt and I know that his fur is probably just full of dirt too. He gets so messy in the backyard. We actually have a dog on either side of us and so he likes to run and bark at those dogs and dig in the dirt and just makes a big old mess. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up and we're gonna mop the floors here and then put his little dog cage back. You showed me
If you were here last week for the last part of our deep cleaning series, we tackled our disaster of a garage and I actually used our O Cedar Spin Mop out there. I would not normally mop the garage floor, but it was so dirty. And I also thought that maybe if I used pine saw and hot water that it would scare away all of the spiders. <laughs> so that mop head was disgusting. I went ahead and put a new one on and now we're back to mopping. Okay, this room is completely done. It's really deep cleaned and it felt so good to have that done. Not all of the rooms are gonna take this long today, but this room was just extra dusty and dirty. So we went ahead and took care of that and now we're moving on to the kitchen. Hello! Okay, I wanted to stop real quick and thank Cupshe for sponsoring today's video. Cupshe is a multi-category, one-stop shopping site, and I'm gonna be sharing some swimwear and dresses that I love from Cupshe, and I'm gonna try them all on for you and show you how things fit and tell you what size I'm in for reference. Um, I am a true Cupshe lover. Their clothes are super affordable and such good quality, and I can honestly tell you I don't buy clothes from companies that are really cheap just because they're cheap. Um, I hate being disappointed when clothes get to me and they're just see-through or too thin, but Cupshe is amazing because you get an affordable price without sacrificing the quality and I like stuff that's pretty full coverage but still really cute and flattering so I'm excited to share what I recently picked out for summer they have dresses swimsuits cover-ups hats all kinds of stuff it's all great quality and the average price on their website is under $25 so you cannot beat it their stuff is so comfortable and each piece is designed with special fabrics to cater to every body type from extra small to 4x this first dress I am obsessed with for fall, y'all. I cannot wait to wear this this fall. Imagine this with a cute pair of boots. Such a quick, comfy, easy outfit, and it even has pockets. This one is called the Yasmin Plaid Shirt Dress, and I'm gonna have all of these items linked below in the description box for y'all. This next dress is so cute for a simple summer dinner or a wedding that you might have coming up. It's called the Talia V-neck Smocking Short Dress. It hugs tight, but in all of the right places, so you don't have to worry about a food baby or anything like that. And this next one is called the Aria Thin Strap Striped Slip Dress. This one is so comfy, fits perfect, and I cannot wait to take this one to the beach in August. I'm definitely gonna be wearing that to dinner one night. And now this one is so freaking cute. It reminds me of a princess, and I'm obsessed with this color. I'm secretly hoping that my niece Bella has a princess party for her second birthday coming up because how cute would this be? This one is called the Leanna Square Neck. 
and all of these fit me so perfectly y'all this last dress is called the Gertie puff sleeve and y'all might have seen me wear this on Sunday on my Instagram stories but I got so many compliments on this dress fits perfectly and it's so cute in person my sister actually wore this in a different color for Easter and this is the cutest basic swim cover ever <laughs> I usually always go with black because I don't want anything showing out but this one has the cutest ruffle sleeves and it unbuttons in the front if you want to be able to throw it on and off without putting it over your head and this green one piece underneath is also from cup she so cute and all of my swimsuits from them fit perfectly and are so adorable if y'all have never visited cup she's website definitely check that link in my description box below they have so many cute options to choose from and they're all comfortable each piece is designed with special fabrics to cater to every body type from extra small to 4x and cup she listened and has recently made some changes and what they improved was the cups are easier to remove they have new slider rings and strapping that is more adjustable they deliver consistent products with the standardized rise and bud coverage so customers know exactly what they're purchasing and they improved cup quality and they make the cups more individually tailored for each style and they're also offering better print quality and trim work I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in my description box below for y'all. So make sure to go and check Cupshe today. Um, use my code LaurenY15 for 15% off orders over $65. And thank you so much to Cupshe for sponsoring today's video. I don't want nobody stabbing me with love. Don't want to waste no time getting my feelings hurt. I believe in those things we don't know much of. There's just so much to see. Just wanna go Okay, so here in the kitchen nook, I'm just going around and wiping everything down, dusting everything, getting rid of all of the summer decor and putting that away in the garage and kind of just resetting this space. I cannot wait to get a new kitchen table. This one is so worn out and I feel like everything in this area is so white and I would love to get a little wood table for in here. But for now, I'm just cleaning everything up, getting it reset and ready for fall decor. As I'm taking summer decor out, I'm trying to replace it with more versatile things so that there's not a bunch of empty spaces. Um, so I just went ahead and put that greenery on the kitchen table as a centerpiece until next week when we decorate for fall. And now I'm headed over here to the sink. I had a bunch of dishes to do and a lot of them were, needed to be washed by hand and that's why I put it off. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of all of that. I need to wash some bottles, wipe down the counters, clean the stove, so let's get to it.
with the text on XO. My ace, boom, boom, no flex, no. I won't gas you up like Petro. Just trying to take your way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that. Work now, play later. But you keep going off on me. Keep texting like it's all on me. Yeah, you're all in my head like. You're my forever, not for right now. My day one, you I don't know why I've never tried the scrub mommy sponge until now, but I love it. It's like the perfect little shape to hold in your hand and there's lots of little holes to stick your fingers into. And I swear like no matter what I'm cleaning, it just works perfectly. So I've been loving that and I want to try out the scrub daddy and I think there's another one too, but I have been loving the scrub mommy. To wipe all of the counters down, I'm just using the Grapefruit Method Spray, and this stuff smells incredible. You said that you needed me Like a cargo As I'm cleaning these bottles, I figured I would let y'all know that I'm going to go ahead and link my fall videos from last year down in the description box below. So if you want to get a head start and start decorating now and you need somebody to watch, then I have lots of fall videos from last year. They're very cozy. I was pregnant with Oliver when I filmed them. Um, we didn't have all of the furniture in our house yet, but I do love my fall videos from last year. They were so cozy and fun to make, so I will have those linked down below. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my counters now, and my flour ran out, so I'm just filling that up real quick. I ran out of Barkeeper's Friend and I haven't been to the store to get more yet, so I've just been using baking soda mixed with some Dawn dish soap. And it works pretty well. It doesn't work near as good as the Barkeeper's Friend, but that's what we're using today. For all of my stainless steel appliances, I'm just using my Blue Land glass cleaner. And now we're headed over to the other side of the kitchen. I need to clear off these counters. They were full of dishes that I had dried and didn't put away. And we're gonna wipe those down and we'll, we're almost done in this part of the kitchen.
Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell. I'm using my broom in the kitchen today instead of my Dyson because underneath the stove by that little drawer I noticed a cobweb and I wanted to just be able to knock cobwebs where I saw them so I went ahead and used my broom, got everything swept up and then we're going to mop here in just a second. But I know I floss at least they say something Still I try to connect with you through your eyes Your eyes what is on your mind? I think it's time to speak. I have crossed the line, but no, not just me. I'm feeling something that goes beyond us. us, us. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot, cause we're I love you and I know all your colors And I guess cause of that I can think of no others Yeah, I need you to breathe without you, I'm lost I'm lost, yeah What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line, but no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond Okay, I always way overestimate what I can get done in a day. So I could not finish the house yesterday. I'm back at it the next day. I went ahead and threw on some shorts and a sweatshirt and we're gonna go ahead and vacuum up this rug. I didn't do that yesterday and it was bothering me. So I already mopped in here. I'm just vacuuming up this rug right quick and then we'll move on. I just recently added this catch-all basket to our kitchen because we would constantly have this bar top just cluttered with keys and wallets and mail. And so now the catch-all basket is collecting literally everything. So I'm gonna go through it, pull out all of the mail and put it in the mail basket, throw away what we don't need, and then kind of sort through the stuff that's not supposed to be in there and put it where it goes. Um, my Apple Watch is in there, some gum, some random like electronics, some cords, a lot of Oliver's teethers and socks. So random stuff, I'm gonna get it all put away. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time will tell. Ooh. Only time will tell. Ooh. The kitchen is completely reset. It's all clean and all of the summer decor is put away. We are ready to decorate for fall next week. I'm also gonna throw in a batch of chocolate chip cookies here in a second, just to give it extra cozy vibes. I had already lit some fall candles in the living room and it smelled incredible. So let's go ahead and throw those chocolate chip cookies in. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all I grew up on the Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookie recipe and I absolutely love it. I don't like any other chocolate chip cookie better than this one. And I love it when they're golden brown on the edges and soft in the middle. Those were perfect. We went ahead and loaded up our little plate with those and now we're moving on into the master bedroom. I'm opening up the blinds to let some light in. We're gonna make up this bed and get everything cleaned up in here. used to do 
know you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call Some of those red pillows and blankets were actually our Christmas decorations, so I didn't put those in the summer box. I had to take them out to the garage to the Christmas box. And now I'm just clearing off my nightstand. Oliver was sick a couple weeks ago, and I had that humidifier there, and I never did take it back to the medicine cabinet. So went ahead and took care of that, and now we're just dusting everything down. If you missed my day in the life that went out last Thursday, I'll link that below. I did a little fall haul and that was all the stuff that I got and I needed to find a new place for it. Will I cry? Will I leave behind? Broken and crumbled signs Hiding all my roads to you uh -oh. And if I fight Okay, our room is reset. The bed is not made like it normally is because I was using our pillows from our bed on the couch. Um, but next week we're decorating for fall and it's gonna look totally different in here anyway. So I'm just gonna leave it clean. And now we're headed into the master bathroom. I'm using the same grapefruit method spray in the bathroom. I just love the way that smells. It smells so fresh. I use my Blue Land glass cleaner on the mirror. We're gonna wipe everything down right quick, make sure it's dusted. My face washes sit out all the time and so they get dust collected on them. So I'm taking care of that. And then I'm gonna clean up the toilet, use my Clorox wand to clean the inside, and then we'll head over to the tub. And I've been falling out in love. Soon enough, everything starts 
For the tub, I'm just taking my Clorox spray with bleach. I hadn't cleaned the tub in a really long time because I haven't been taking baths lately, but I wanted to, so I wanted it to be really extra fresh. So I went ahead and sprayed that all down and I'm just taking that long scrubber to clean it all up. Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying heights This mirror actually goes in our bedroom and I brought it in here the other day to see the back of my head. Um, I was trying to do some braids, but anyways, I'm just wiping that down and I'm going to go put it back in my room. Feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Y'all, I don't even have that big of a house, and it takes me forever to tackle a whole house clean with me. So I do not know how people with big houses do this all in one day or all in two days. It just takes so long. And when I see like a cobweb or dust somewhere, then I kind of like go down this rabbit trail of I have to dust everything or I have to wipe down everything. And so I just get caught up doing a lot of stuff. But anyways, we're gonna finish up this bathroom here in a minute and we're gonna head over to the other side of the house. We're tackling it all today. I'm cleaning up the office, the nursery, and the guest bathroom still. So get ready for a lot more cleaning motivation. A huge mess in the nursery today. We had the diaper genie overflowing. His diaper changing pad actually got dirty, so I went and washed that and it wasn't put back on yet. Tons of toys all over the floor. And I was trying to steam his little bed skirt, but the wrinkles didn't really fall out. But I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on, get this all cleaned up, wiped down, and vacuumed.
Alright, the nursery is all cleaned up and ready to go. Now we're moving on into the office. Wow, comment down below if you were here a couple weeks back when we completely decluttered and cleaned this office. This is exactly what happens to our stuff and I do not understand how we get it dirty so quick, but we kind of are just always on the go and just throw things where we throw them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my side of the office straightened up. Then we'll go ahead over to Will's side of the office and straighten up. It wasn't too terrible. We just kind of had paperwork strewn everywhere and some random clothing items. So let's get this taken care of. Okay, the office looked way worse than it actually was. It wasn't too bad. We got that all cleaned up and vacuumed and now we're headed into the guest bathroom. This is the very last room that we're working on today. We're gonna go ahead and wipe everything down with that same grapefruit method spray. And I'm gonna clean up the toilet. There were toys all over the tub. I needed to clean up the toys and go ahead and spray the bleach in the bottom of the tub. Oliver has this little bath mat in here and if I don't pull it up and spray bleach a lot, um, it'll collect mold and stuff. So. Got to do that very often in here. Let's get this taken care of. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Y'all riding. 
Okay, so fun fact, I actually slipped and fell really hard in this tub the other night and my elbow made a hole in the side of the tub right there. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's a crack and um, so we're going to have to get that replaced. Will and I have actually been showering in here at night because uh, Oliver sleeps in our room in the pack and play and we're trying really hard not to wake him up. So we just shower in here. We brought all of our shampoos and stuff in here. Um, but yeah, down I went. It was like 2 a.m. and I had just got done doing a voiceover and I was so tired. Um, but I didn't get hurt, but I did hurt the tub. <laughs> I used a purple shampoo for the blonde in my hair and it was all over this tub so that's what I'm scrubbing up right now and when that's done we're gonna go clean the toilet and the floors and then we can finally call this video done this was such a long two days to get this whole house tackled but we did it it's deep cleaned the whole house is reset and ready for fall decor and that is the best feeling I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Comment down below what you got tackled while you were watching or just what you were up to because sometimes I will sit and watch cleaning videos on days when I'm not cleaning just because they're fun to watch and kind of therapeutic in my opinion but that's gonna be it for this whole house clean make sure to stop back by next Sunday for our first fall clean and decorate of the year I'm so excited and I'll go ahead and link below the deep cleaning series from the past six weeks if you miss them and also my fall videos from last year in case you want to check those out but thanks so much for watching don't forget to check out Cupshe and I will see y'all soon bye Can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple.